Hi everyone, this is Joe and today we're going to be reviewing the Cyber Acoustics CA3092 BT 2.1 Bluetooth speaker system. Uh, now this is Cyber Acoustics first foray uh, into the Bluetooth speaker market and uh, if you check the similar products on Amazon from Cyber Acoustics you'll find that they all get a four or four and a half star rating or better. Um, I want to go through this product. Uh, first we have a right channel speaker which has, uh, you connect to the Bluetooth right there. Um, you can see the blue LED. It's got a headphone input jack and it's got an aux input jack. Um, and there's a power button and there's your speaker volume control. It's a, it's a sleek black surface, uh, it's shiny, and there's grills protecting the speakers as well as a port. Uh, in the back you'll find power for a included nine volt uh, one amp adapter. And you'll also see the cords, which um, which are not which are actually connected solidly into the device. It's also got rubber tips on the bottom to keep it in place. Uh, now here's the left channel speaker. It just has one cord, which it feeds from the right channel speaker. And the right channel speaker has another has a sub out, which is right here. And the sub out goes into this little uh, little sub. It fits uh, fits in your hands pretty well. Um, it's got a speaker at the bottom as well as a port and um, I found that the frequency response goes down to 40 Hertz in my testing. Um, I want to go through some of the pros and cons of this device. Uh, it's, it's great for computer speakers. I've been using this for my computer setup uh, for the last week or so and when I, once I initially paired it with Bluetooth I went back and uh, every time I connected it again, it, it just synced right up. So you pair it once and then you should be fine. Uh, this is running my Windows laptop uh, uh, with Windows 7. Um, wanted to mention that it's got 8 watts of total power. It's got 2 watts per satellite and 4 watts for the sub. Uh, it, that gets a pretty good amount of power, uh, believe it or not. It doesn't sound like a lot of power, but when you're dealing with just computer speakers it makes it makes a big difference uh... it got as loud as, as you're going to want to stand to hear it um, for the most part um, the instruction manual and the packaging was very well done uh, what i liked about the instruction manual is that it gave tips as far as um, how to uh... how to best place the speakers in your setup and uh... It, it, the pictures were really good so i think uh... the instruction manual uh, did a really good job there. Um, the base, uh, you got to experiment where you want to put the base. At first I put the base near the satellite speakers and it was a little muddy um, and it kind of overwhelmed the sound from the speakers but once I placed it lower in the desk and I placed it down uh, in a corner of a room it really filled the room out with a nice sound. Um, you're just going to want to experiment with it. Now let's go to some things I don't like about these speakers. Um, one is this bright blue LED um, that is on right now. It's connected to my iPhone. If you put a little piece of electrical tape up, there's a little bit of a blue back glow right there. But other than that, that takes care of the problem for me. Now, some people might like the blue light. They might think it's cool. Um, I just don't like a blue light at me all day. But uh, there's an easy solution. And luckily, the speakers are black and they're sleek. And the, the piece of electrical tape I took off because uh, I wanted to show the users what it looks like. It's really, it's a really easy f solution to that. A um, couple other issues with these, uh, they're not really issues, they're features I'd like to see. Um, as you can see, the, the cord's about three feet between these two speakers, which really limits your placement to about right there. Um, and it's got a five foot cord for the sub. I'd like to see a little bit extra length in between the two speakers, and I'd like to see a little bit extra length uh, from the right channel speaker to the sub. Um, I'd like to see the aux input jack, which is right here. I'd like to see that go in the back. That way, if uh, I do want to connect it to the computer, I don't have a jack coming out the front. Um, it'll be a little bit cleaner, um, and that'll be great if I, I want to use this stream Bluetooth from my iPhone or Android device, and also if I want to uh, connect it to my computer, maybe an older computer that doesn't have Bluetooth. Um, but this is primarily in the front because it's, it's designed to come from an iPod. Um, the other thing is that, that I don't like is about how these cords tie directly into the speaker. Um, in the past, I've had some of these cords get yanked pretty hard, and once they get yanked really hard, 
uh, there's no way to fix this. So I'd like them to be all detachable like this 9-volt uh, adapter plug right here. Um, that way if they do get yanked, um, you know, there's some forgiveness and you can plug them back in versus here if they get yanked hard, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, the sub speaker, I don't like how this is exposed. Um, this could get kicked or damaged, and uh, I'd sure hate for that to happen. If they could put a little grill over here or something to protect that, I'd like to see that. Um, or in the back, uh, it just has a sub input. I'd like to see an, an adjustment knob for the level of bass. That way I can customize it to my liking or the environment that I place the speaker in. And the other thing I'd like to see is, this is nice, these are really nice speaker grills, but it'd be nice if there'd be some way if I could detach this so I could actually have the bare speaker if I wanted to go for that aesthetic. Um, all, all together, this is a really nice sounding unit. Um, I really got some good sound from it. I had no problems connected to my Windows 7 laptop, my home Mac, uh, my iPhone. Once you pair it, it syncs right back up the next time. Um, you got to you got to find the right placement for the sub. Uh, once you do that, it sounds really good. Again, uh, if you're not familiar with Cyber Acoustics, go to their website um, and also look at other products which they've produced on Amazon. And you can read about similar uh, similar experiences users have had with Cyber Acoustics products. Uh, this is, should be no different from uh, the other quality products that they put out. Uh, and I'm happy to be able to review this for Cyber Acoustics. And I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thanks.